Hey! Very fresh. It is the 8th of January, 2020. I pray you're all blessed. This is uh, getting really hard for me to get to these videos these days. Pretty busy around here. And very briefly, this Babylonian Talmud reading that we were just looking at last week. Uh, the 13th cycle of the 2711 page Talmud that officially ended on the 3rd of January, 2020. The 13, the Rebellion, and the 322. They will take of the Tree of Life and live forever. That's what they think. And I showed you how that whole cycle ritual began back on September 11th, 1923. Exactly 96 years, 3 months, and 22 days apart to the MetLife ritual. It's just crazy, you guys. And if you go forward from the MetLife ritual on the 1st to Purim, which falls on March 9th through 11th, 3, 9 through 11. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. It's another 69 days, which is 9 weeks and 6 days. And it's my firm belief that the next 9-11 will involve Psalm 69. Nine. You need to go read that. Because don't forget, Psalm 23 was read on the day of 9-11. Psalm 46 was read by Obama on 9-11-2011. There's this obvious pattern here. If we go forward from 9-11-2001 to 3-11, we get 6,756 days, which breaks down to a 13-11. The 3-11. And it has to do with Purim and Esther and the book of Esther which takes place in Shushan which is Persia which is Iran and there's much more to this I just have to work on that a little more what I wanted to share with you here today though is this craziness between Trump and Iran they're each threatening one threatening 35 targets one threatening 52 very ironic indeed but first let's look at this here this Soleimani got killed, right, on the official end of the Talmud reading cycle, on the 3rd. Again, the 13 and the 322. He was actually born on March 11th, 311. 69 days later, after his death, is 311, the 69. Think about this, you guys. So, he's supposedly only second to the Ayatollah. And a commenter left me a link, which I will leave to you, to this YouTube channel that shows unequivocally, and we can show it to you right here, they claimed that the ring is what identified his body, right? It was all over the place on all these various outlets. His body identified by the ring, the ring, the ring. When you look at the ring, it is obvious beyond question that this ring that they claim is this ring, is not the ring at all whatsoever at all it's not the same ring why would they try and fake this guy's death did they fake his death i don't know either way they're getting the ball rolling on their war footing and that's the objective is to bring in this chaos and war to get the people to scream for peace and safety for a savior that's the plan and the Jews, who say they're Jews, but they're not, will step up as the saviors, okay? He was immediately confirmed by that ring that isn't the same ring, okay? And then they went through all this rigmarole and the three days, and now we have Iran threatening 35 and Trump 52. Well, it's ironic that Trump tweets out the threat of the 52 targets at exactly 252. And don't forget, 52 is 26 plus 26, which is 13 plus 13. You can see these patterns, 52 weeks in a year, 52 cards in a deck of cards, consisting of 13 in each suit. They've just dispatched the 26th Marine Expeditionary Group, the Bataan, into the Middle East. Now, just bear with me here. Trump, yesterday, on the 7th, had them launch 52 F-35s at an Air Force base in Utah. Think about it. 52 F-35s. And that Air Force base just happens to be home of 78 F-35s. 
And he also sent six more B-52s. 78 happens to be the exact number of cards in a tarot deck, which is 52 plus 26. Do you see where I'm going with this? And Trump, in his first year in office, went to the 9-11 Memorial Tower of Voices for the Flight 93 Memorial. Think about this, when he was on The World in 2017, the Rothschild's Economist cover. I just want you to get this into your mind, because this is crazy. From that day, at the Tower of Voices, or Babel, which is what is being built right now. You understand? From 9-11-2017 to Purim, March 9th through 11th, 911 days falls exactly on the 10th of Purim. From 9-11-2017. Think about that. 911 days, which is also 130 weeks in a day. The 311, even down to the minutes, the 311. USA in numerology is 311. And he's on the front cover, sitting on the American flag like it's a toilet seat, holding the Rothschild regalia, right? That's what he's doing. The synagogue of Satan. The tarot deck and its 78 cards. The U.S. Air Force Base in Utah holds 78 at 35s. 78. Think about this. Iran threatens 35, Trump 52. 52 plus 35 is 87, the exact opposite of 78. 78 is 53 plus 25. It's a perfect mirror. It's a ritual. And if you subtract the 35 from 52, it's 17, which Esther is the 17th book of the Bible. There's a lot to this, you guys. But I have to show you this because it's just incredibly coincidental, let's say. And Trump says that the 52 number is from the Iranian hostage crisis. Well, those hostages were taken on November 4th, 1979, okay? They were held hostage until January 20th, 1981. Exactly 444 days. Trump releases his statement on the assassination of the general, and it's exactly 4 minutes and 11 seconds long. Reagan was elected on 11-4. The hostages were taken on 11-4. His statement is 4-11. I mean, you just can't get over this stuff, you guys. Trump is a Washington-type Christian, which is Masonic mystery religion. Brother Washington, all Freemasons meet as equals, and we have an opportunity to create a nation in the very essence of Masonic morality. Oh, come on, Brother Washington. Everybody lies occasionally, surely, especially politicians. Not me. Not even so much as an alternative fact. The foundation stone of our new nation built on all those principles that we hold dear. You know, I wonder if other presidents after me will also be Freemasons. And Freemasonry will become embedded in the American culture. And the I will appear on the banknotes. Freemasonry has burned as a blazing fire through the last three centuries. As permanent master of these three lodges, or even more proud of our ancient institution. He's not a believer. I want him to be, I pray for him to come to Christ, but he's not. Even the Washington Masonic Memorial, if you've never seen this thing, you gotta check it out. The 333 foot tall memorial that they put up to George Washington, it's insane. And they laid the cornerstone, <laughs> 1923. Guess what? 52 days exactly after the first Babylonian Talmud reading cycle began on 9-11-1923. That is no coincidence. War.
That's what you're going to see. What is war? It's a child's card game. The first game a child learns in cards is war. Think about it. And that terrorism card is on the table. This is all part of this cabal plan. They're all members of this club. And I hope you're not. So I had to share this stuff with you. I hope you can glean something out of this. And it edifies you, and blesses you. And I pray that you know Jesus Christ. Because he is the only truth, the only way, the only life. God bless y'all. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 